Welcome to uh, Megan's Wreath Boutique. Um, I'm gonna show y'all a quick video on how I make this super cute sailor's bow. Um, I just started making these and thought I would share them with you guys because they're so cute and actually fairly easy to make. So let's get started. You're going to wanna use um, I'm using bullet fabric. I've also used the knit ribbed fabric and it works um, just as good. It's just not as sturdy as the bullet fabric. It's a little more flimsy, which is perfectly fine if um, that's not a huge factor for you. Uh, I think it's really pretty. They come in pretty colors. Um, so if that's something you want to use, you can definitely use that. Um, so you're going to need, uh, let's see, this is a five piece of bullet fabric. It's five by 15, five inches wide, 15 inches long. And actually you can cut it 17 inches long because you're going to need like a two inch piece um, to make your center of your bow. So if you just cut this piece 17 inches instead of 15 inches, you can cut off the two inches that are remaining um, or the excess of two inches. And then you're going to need a four inch wide, I'm sorry, four, yeah, four inch wide piece of bullet fabric and it's um, 10 inches in length. You're going to need two little rubber bands. I got these off Amazon. Um, it came in a huge uh, bucket of rubber bands, a alligator clip, and needle and thread. Okay, we're gonna start off with our five inch by 15 inch piece. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to fold this into five inch sections. To where you get a five inch square and what I like to do you don't have to do this but you can kind of see there's a little bit of an overhang on this side so I'm just going to trim that and what I use I just use a you can buy like um, a wide ruler or just use a regular ruler if you have one. I just use this piece of wood as a straight edge, just to get that excess off so it's nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side too because you can kind of see a little bit of an overhang there. Okay, so now that we have that folded, you're gonna grab one of your rubber bands, have it handy, and you're gonna find the center of this um, square or bow, and you're going to scrunch it up. Once you have it scrunched, you're going to want to hold it pretty tight, grab your rubber band, wrap it around the middle, don't let go of your scrunch and kind of adjust the rubber band to make sure it's in the center. So here's our first part of our bow. Fix 
it's this back part. And if you still have a little bit of an overhang, you can go ahead and trim that. Okay. So now we're going to take our four inch wide, 10 inch long piece, and you're going to fold it in half. And I like to start at the corner. make like a half circle and you cut that like that so that when you open it up it looks kind of like a half circle make sure your edges are pointed here at the end Okay, so we're going to do the same thing that we did for the bow. We're going to find the center. And we're going to scrunch it up. Just like that. Grab your second rubber band and you're going to grab your bow as well. And you're gonna line it up in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can adjust it. But you're gonna wrap your rubber band around the bow and the tails. Kind of tuck the tail tails to the back. Make sure you have everything centered. Pretty good, didn't you? So the last step, well, second to last step, is you're going to sew your center onto your bow. So grab your needle and thread. Make sure you have that ready to go. And what you're gonna wanna do on the center or this is what I do. Um, I fold it in thirds. And you can see the, this, the fold right here. So this is going to be the back of your center. So you're gonna sew it inside out so that when you flip it, that part doesn't show. So make sure this seam is showing when you put it on your bow. And I like to stretch mine really tight. You can make it as tight as you want, as small as you want, or thin. But like I said, I like mine to be pretty tight. So I hold that really tight kind of adjust everything and you're going to sew that center. 
I go through, but don't pull it all the way through and then come back and loop it through this first stitch just to kind of make it a little more secure. Do a couple more stitches on this side and make sure you're not sewing through your bow because like I said, we have to flip this center. over to the other side you stitch that side a couple of times just going back and forth make sure you're holding everything really tight once you have it good and tight you can stitch the middle again I'm just going back and forth all the way across this center piece And you're going to want to keep your stitches kind of in line because we're going to cut off the excess of this material. So you want to make sure your stitches are kind of in line so you don't cut, cut through them. All right, once you have a pretty good stitch line, you're just going to sew it off or tie it off. And we'll cut off the excess. Alright, so we're going to cut off this excess piece. Like I said, make sure you don't cut through your stitches. And what I like to do is cut these edges right here so that when you flip it, they don't stick through the front of your So we flip this. Also, this is a good way to hide your stitches so you have a good clean seam line right there. I flip the front to get rid of that seam, that fold line that we had. clip is very easy to add you just I just throw it in right here scoot it in make sure you're not getting your rubber band and that's that but before I put the alligator clip in I like to make sure my bows exactly the way I want it to look and then I grab is just some wax paper again make sure your bows the way you want it and then I spray it with this stiff and quick I use it on my grow grain ribbon too but it works for this bullet fabric as well let that sit for about an hour and then it'll come out stiff like this one so it's not so floppy if you don't mind it floppy don't spray it with the um, fabric stiffener and it'll be a little more floppy like a the um, rib knit that I showed you I did spray this one but it's still pretty pretty 
pretty um, flimsy, which is, I mean, it's pretty. I like it. I love this color, so I think it's pretty either way. Okay, I think that is it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, please like this video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And um, follow me for, for more uh, tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.